Our top story, Australia's currency has climbed to a new record high. That's after inflation rose more than economists forecast, increasing bets for more interest rate hikes. Let's get some more insight. Paul Bloxham, HSBC's chief economist for Australia and New Zealand, joins us now. He's held roles as an economist at the Reserve Bank of Australia, and he joins us now from Sydney. Paul, hi. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Paul, what does it mean for interest rates today stronger than estimated inflation? Well, we certainly think that it means that the next move for interest rates will be up. Uh, inflation is building in Australia and it has now risen in underlying terms from two and a quarter to be now running at about two and three quarters, which is moving through the Reserve Bank's target band. And we expect that the Reserve Bank will feel that at some point in time they need to respond by lifting interest rates. Of course, they meet next week. Uh, we don't think that next week is likely, given all of the things that are going on in terms of global risk at the moment and, and some weakness in, global sent in domestic sentiment, but we do think the next move will be up. What are the key upward risks, upward pressures on inflation right now? Well, one of the key things in the medium term is that we aren't really building enough houses in Australia, uh, which is seeing some, in some increases in rents. We haven't actually seen that in today's numbers, but we expect that that pressure will continue to build. Another part of the story is we really haven't been building enough electricity generation capacity either, and we are seeing that utilities prices have been rising in the medium term. Uh, a key issue for Australia at the moment is that the supply side of the economy has been fairly weak. Productivity growth has been lagging lacklustre and, and that just means that the economy can't grow as quickly as it used to without creating inflation. What about the labour dynamics, Paul? I know there's worker shortages and skilled labour shortages, you know, specifically in Victoria, New South Wales, uh, to, to, to name but two areas. Is this a key concern? I think it is a concern. What we've seen in Australia is a substantial slowdown in population growth over the past year. So we were growing at a bit over 2% and now we're growing at about one5 due to government policies put in place to slow down the rate of population growth. This has meant we have less labour supply and we already have the unemployment rate in Australia at its full employment level of about 4.9%. We expect that given the mining boom that's playing out over the next couple of years, demand will continue to increase for labour and of course, as, as I said before, we, we really haven't got a great deal of labour supply to meet that demand. We're already seeing that in terms of wages running at a fairly healthy clip. Of course, Paul, the impact of higher inflation means a higher Australian dollar, record high today against the US dollar, up 22% in the last 12 months. Of course, that, kids, that keeps a lid on importing inflation. But uh, how high can the, can the Aussie dollar go? Oh, well, that's the big question, of course, at the moment, is, 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 is how high could it go, but also which way does it go? Uh, it's, it, as you described, been rising quite substantially over the past year, and, of course, it's, it's possible that it has actually overshot and potentially comes down at some point in time. It's also possible that it, that it doesn't. OK, Paul, thanks a lot. Paul Bloxham there, HSBC Chief Australia and New Zealand Economist.